Hi viewers, I welcome back to you all to my YouTube channel. आज मैं एक वीडियो बना रहा हूँ for students of standard nine uh, from their behind book. The name of the chapter which I am going to cover is Rich for the Top. Rich for the Top. is a biography of two ladies two women who have proved that uh, hard work determination and most importantly dedication to work never goes in vain these two women have scripted their history by their sincere to the purpose by their single minded we can say exclusive focus on the path they have selected and these two women have been honored have been respected admired across the world and they have set a unique example of women empowerment so children the rich for the top part 1 and part 2 both you will get in a short in a very short simple and highly comprehensive way hamara uddesh ye hoga to clear your concept so rich for the top mein hum kya dekh rahe hain ki do women first santosh yadav and the second is maria sara One is from India, another is from Siberia, Russia. So we find that Shantosh Yadav, who is who is a who is born in a traditional, we can say, who is born in a conservative society, society which is guided by gender discrimination. where the birth of a boy is welcome and the birth of a girl do not occurs do not considered occurs but it is not a welcome gesture in that society santosh is born but her case in her case what we find that her birth is a welcome sign she is the single brother of five she is the single sister of five brothers so those is right from beginning wants to carve her carve her own name she wants to she wants to prove her metal she wants to prove herself how she should make a secure place for herself and she has done she lives life on her own terms she did not she did not get guided by societal restriction she didn't get guided by she didn't get a stopped by imposition of unnecessary rules as per the demand of the custom of the time but we find that santosh yadav has a selected a path she said very directly to her parents that she will not get she will not get settled she will not get married unless she is educated so we are reading here rich for tough and we find that how rich for tough how one reaches the culminating point of success how one reaches on the climax of climax of achievement shantosh yadav works and she never looks back no doubt her parents were rich farmers they were well off there was no scarcity of money in the family but they did not give much importance to education they could get their children educated in delhi that was very nearest place from here but they did not get much give much importance to education 
So they sent their children to the village school. But what do you find that uh, when Santosh was 16 years old, what happened that uh, there was pressure from the family for marriage. She refused to get married. She said, you know, she will not get married unless she get educated. She moved to Delhi. In Delhi, she got admission. Her parents said, in order to stop her from going to Delhi, they, tell, they told her that please don't take initiative. We will not fund you. As it is said and it is felt and we observe in our life that once you have to achieve anything great in life, once you have made up your mind to rise high, nothing can stop you. That is proved in the story of Shandosh Yadav. She said, if you, you did not pay me, I will work to fund my education. She said that she will do job while studying. Finally, her parents started giving her fund. And from that time, she did not look back. After class 10, she moved to Jaipur. There she got admission, Maharani College. From there, she studied and after that, she moved to Uttarkasi. And uh, what we find that uh, she got training there. We, we find that uh, while she was in Jaipur, she used to see mountainous. Actually, her uh, hostel was near Arabli Hills. She used to see that mountainous are really going to um, rise here, are climbing them. Mountain and disappear. She wanted to where they where do they get disappear. So Ovi ek din try karte hai. And one day she moved to mountaineers who are very cooperative, very encouraging. Both prerna dayak log hai. They are very himmat dete hai isko. And she tried. She tried and she feels interested. And gradually she finds that she is able to climb the mountain. What happened? That she moved to Uttarkasi and there she got, got education. She got training in mountaineering. And by hard work, toughness of mind and sincerity to purpose, what we find that very soon she has mastered her mountaineering skills. See, her skills matured and in 1992, what happened? We study what a miracle in her life. She became the first woman across the world to climb Mount Everest twice. She climbed and uh, she has proved, she has set and uh, Government of India, realizing her potential, appreciating her power, gave her Padushri highest civilian award. Further, what you find that apart from being a very courageous, very brave mountaineer, she was also a very good human being. Once she could not save a person from dying, but next time she shared oxygen with her fellow climber and saved him. In this way, this shows that she had also a very kind heart. And uh, further we find that she was also very much conscious to environment. Once what 500 cases of Rubbish she brought down from the Mount Everest. So here you find that reach for the top proves it gives a very clear message, part one and part two. Message that nothing is impossible if we are guided by a proper planning, proper 
proper strategy and this has been proved by Chandrasekhar in second part the second part is all about Maria Sharapova she is from Siberia who has a who has a purpose she also wanted to she also wanted to earn a name in tennis and yes she achieved a great feat she achieved a great feat she achieved a great great place she carved a place for her in the heart of tennis lovers across the world maria sharapova was also from a very humble background her father her parents who were very supportive this is the difference this is the difference what you find that the parents of sanjosh yadav became supportive when she resisted when she opposed the societal norms societal restrictions then they become supportive but what you find maria sharapova that her mother her father both were very much supportive understanding or we can say that uh, realizing that their daughter has potential to potential to do something great they have started cooperating her her father who was not a very well off person who was not a very affluent person he dared to get maria sarapova trained in tennis he moved to florida usa with his daughter got her admitted to a hostel and he has started working day and night to fund her training and that was the real that was the real dedication the contribution of Sarapova's father cannot be ruled out, cannot be known. Here, what we find that Maria Sarapova, although she was a foreigner there, she had to suffer bullyism, she had to suffer insult at the hand of seniors. But she did not, she did not, what she did not, took it seriously. And really, it is said that if you want to achieve something great in life. you have to be negligent of minor things if you uh, start taking your insult very seriously life becomes hell you have not to look back you must focus on your goal you must focus where you must focus on the main part of life that is the success you have to achieve shumari sarapova tolerated the insulting remark she had to suffer there and she tolerated she worked day and night rigorous training extensive extensive work and after that her matured her, her quality matured her capacity matured and she started playing with a great ease and confidence that we notice and in august 2005 that was the day dedicated to her she won she won great medal and she became successful she has love for dance and music and she also enjoyed those things but apart from those she never a stopped her self she never stopped of working she wanted to remain number one and for remaining if you want to if you are successful that is good but if you want to stay the same you will have to double your hard work and what we are study so the both stories ये दो स्टोरी जो हम लोग मैं पढ़ रहा हूँ पढ़ा रहा हूँ आपको ये दोनों स्टोरीज में हम लोग क्या देखते हैं फर्स्ट थिंग हम देखते हैं हम लोग कि एक जब हम लोग एक कोई भी काम पूरी ईमानदारी 
से करते करते हैं तो संसार का एक शक्ति है अलौकिक शक्ति हमें मदद करती है दैट इज आवर वॉट एक एक वी गेट इम्पावर्ड बाई अ फोर्स गॉड इज वॉचिंग गॉड हेल्प दोयर आप डेयर करते हो तभी कोई आपको हेल्प करता है नोटिस संतोष यादव वट वॉज हर बैकग्राउंड सी वॉज फ्रॉम वेरी सिंपल बैकग्राउंड नो सिंपल नॉट इकोनॉमिकली बट नो बडी वॉज इन हर फैमिली फ्रॉम द फील्ड सी हेड सेलेक्टेड फॉर हर सेल्फ नो बडी वॉज माउंटेनियस बट सी हेज सेलेक्टेड सी रिमेन स्टक टू हर पर्पज माई एज आर अपोवा सी वॉज फ्रॉम अ कोल्ड कंट्री her father was a working her father was a simple was a very hard working man she had to away from her mother 40 years so she did not make she did not allow the separation from mother to be a handicap on the path of her success and both these two girls excelled a new height to so children hum log dekhte hain ki dono ne apne 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 fields mein नाम बनाया सो रिच फॉर टॉप मेटाफोरिकली टाइटल इज क्वाइट अप्रोप्रिएट रिच फॉर टॉप टॉप मीन्स फॉर एक्सेलेंस रिच फॉर टॉप इफ आई टेल यू रिच फॉर टॉप वट डज इट मीन माउंट एवरेस्ट इज द टॉप एंड एक्सेलेंस इज ऑल्सो टॉप ऑफ लाइफ एंड दिस टू girls one in tennis another in mountaineering both have achieved both have agreed not to be defeated not to be not to be ignored they have count they have achieved and that is called carving a name for themselves ye raha bachcho aapke liye chapter hope mahsoos karta hu ki aap isko bada hi minutely sunenge chapter ko and it will be clear in a short video i have tried reach for the top dekho ji maine kaha iska main theme aap jaan lo ki success comes to those who dare and do dare and do bahut bada baat hai dare to karna hota hai डेयर करोगे यू विल अचीव समथिंग ओनली डेयरिंग इज नॉट अनफ वेन यू डेयर यू विल हैव टू डू एंड वेन यू डू योर पाथ विल बी वेरी मच इजियर योर पाथ विल बी वेरी मच कॉन्जेनियल योर पाथ विल बी वेरी मच प्रोडक्टिव सपोर्टिव एंड विल पेव द वे एंड इट विल पेव द वे ऑफ योर इमरजेंस it will pave the way of your emergence as successful people this is the masses of its story children i have told you summary i have told you main points and hope you will like this video subscribe share and haven't till now subscribed must do it and must not forget to press the bell icon because in coming days i will be regular in uploading videos for right from 9 to 12 as the examination is around the corner so it is my service to you all get benefited thank you